Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 249 of Wasteland 2. So I we left this position last night, and I am trying to remember what we're supposed. Oh, we set it up already so that uh, we could. Now, now I just totally messed it up again. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, we were, we set it up so that we would be uh, fighting those guys over here. I think, right? That one, I think, is a. Uh, Hopefully those are uh, cover. And bull should be here maybe. How about dock bones? <clears throat> Let's put bones here, maybe. Is that cover? I can't even see. Yeah. <clears throat> and leaders there. And then scout. Raffi? And pizza, uh, pizza pie? I wonder if this would be cover or not. If oh, that's no cover. If you can walk right through it. I was thinking, how good a cover are those boxes? Leader, scout. So we have two snipers at the back. Oh, I don't know where to put pizza pie. She doesn't have the distance. Maybe as a backup? Objects target enemies? Wow, we can't see enemies from here. Target enemies! Okay. You know what? Would it make sense to have... And then pizza pie on the other side. Or have... No, no. Let's get bull over there. <clears throat> pizza pie will be on... This side. And bull will come over to this side. <clears throat> Pizza pie. No.
Yeah, okay. Then we can start off the... What is that? That's a basher. That's a lobber. Uh, let's get the lobber. No, we cannot get the guy again. Okay, uh... Pulse gunner in. Uh, and in uh, and turn. Yeah, that's a lobber. We don't we don't want we want to kill that guy. <clears throat> wow, they have so much cover. Maybe we should have backed up. Nice shot. Cutter? How about the other guy? Oh, it's beyond, just beyond us. Let's put uh, her on ambush. Huh? Why are we on this side? <laughs> I thought we kept him on that side. Jeez. Okay, uh, is there cover here? Oh, there's cover here. No, how about uh, that's for that per How come there's no cover here? Oh, this is ridiculous uh, What if can we stand her on the middle in the middle like right here? Yeah, middle. An ambush. Uh oh, I think those two guys are. Fifty-eight. A hundred. A hundred. Let's go with a hundred. the sight distance or the range wow they are they're grouping up on us gunner Cutter Half Pin COTC on wheels? I don't know what they represent mm, We have two shots though So let's take out the gunners Or uh, since he she does a lot of damage. Oh no 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 no! Okay, who was that? C-O-T-C on the wheels? What does that mean? I have no idea what that means. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh no, we didn't get rid of him. Ugh. 
Wait, before we do that, if we come here, oh, we could have used this. That's a cover. That's a cover. <sighs> you know what? Let's just. Yeah, let's just. What's her distance? I know we can outrange them, so we we are confident that we can actually kill them. So to approach our guys, he has to come around. Uh, so yeah, that's the mar marginal line right there. So all the lethal guys, they will have. We will have reach on them, right? How about if we move up a bit? Because we, if we're gonna go on ambush, we will only be doing one, uh, one hit. I mean, one, one chance to fire. Oh, he has no target. I'm worried uh, for the uh, when the heavies move up. Okay, let us same. Let's repeat this. Synth basher, half pin, half pint. Okay, the half uh, half pints are easy targets then. Okay. <clears throat> wow, those are hard to kill. Those are hard to kill. Why did the target change to the basher? I was going for the synth. I guess if we set it up correctly, uh, we can win easily. Okay, let us a uh, what do you call this? Uh, get our promotions in for pizza pie. Echo one. Congratulations, Echo one. Reason is that we want to get the uh, hit points up. So pizza pie now has what kind of? She's what level now? She's. 45 so five more to go and she has two points see this is where we can put both in strength so that she and then she'll get one more point at level 50 and then she will be pretty strong right for uh, at eight and she can be handling uh, the uh, what do you call this the heavy weapons the 550 the millionator <laughs> And we have a ton of bullets because that goes that goes through like ten bullets with a burst shot. Ah, <sighs> I am excited to use that. Uh, what's the uh, what's the AP on the SVD seven? 
and if she gets a dead eye it will go down to six so yeah uh huh she does does she have the does she have the uh tinker trait no she does not have so she can go to 12 action points and with dead eye she can actually go twice with an uh with a with a sniper rifle but we found the svd not to be very uh efficient if we can get our psg1 yes we will uh she will become a another another sniper uh because i am really interested in trying out the uh heavy weapons we don't have a heavy weapons person here so anyway okay uh wow another axe Uh, before we check for uh oh uh-huh raft is getting getting heavy I think let us invest that into strength we need uh look our inventory one yeah we're all you know what let me save this first and let's see how much uh, uh how much that last point in terms of strength will add to his carrying capacity uh right now it is 184 pounds no. If we put that into strength, we know his hit points will be uh, 644, right? Yeah. It's 184 before. It's one. So he's carrying another 15 pounds. Is that worth it? Ah. Uh. Or we can give this to, uh, oh, would be problem. Our problem would be bullets. If we turn, uh, what do you call this? If we turn a pizza pie into a heavy weapons person. See, is that the right thing to do for Because uh, going here will just be one uh, and speed he will just be from 11 to 12 combat in initiative and here evasion will be from 7% to 8% uh, that might actually work if we are going to use him as a melee guy so he is uh, combat speed combat initiative evasion so if we want more evasion yeah that would be that would make sense but uh no he is currently functioning primarily as a uh as a sniper and what is his weapon oh it's the arctic rifle oh arctic sniper uh which is uh sometimes good sometimes bad so not Okay, how is Scout doing in terms of weight? Oh, she has a lot of uh, 109, so hmm. she's about maxed out also. I guess uh, I guess we'll we'll work with that. We'll work with. Uh, 
top having a uh, 10 strength. I think that should work out. 184. So I love these axes. These proton axes are really good. Uh, they and then what are his skills? We have not improved his bladed weapons. Uh, so eight and nine is adrenaline rush and strategic strike. Let's find out what adrenaline rush does. Adrenaline rush plus two AP when below. Okay, max. Okay, okay. Oh, that's true because he's up and personal. What's the other one? What's the level nine? Uh, strategic strike. Oh, but it requires glancing strike. Opportunistic, opportun strike, and before we can invest. So does he even have the perk points? Oh, he does. Uh, what's that again? Uh, opportun strike and strategic strike. Brawling, blunt. Okay, blood. So it it needs. Glancing strike and opportune strike. So to invest in this, we need three at least three perk points. What does it do? Bladed attacks of opportunity deal full damage. Oh, I mean, so that means in ambush mode. I don't see that how helpful that is. Yeah, <laughs> I don't see how helpful that is. Of course, uh, if he goes into uh, into the midst of the enemies so other melee guys that come up to him uh, we can put him well uh, what does that mean does that mean if anybody comes to within uh, within his range uh, bladed attacks of opportunity deal full damage So what does opportune strike mean? So if anybody who comes up close to him, he can counter attack. Meaning bladed attacks of opportunity deal 75% normal damage. You're more effective at hitting enemies as they try to move around the battlefield. So that means if they come close within striking range, you you don't need AP points. You automatically go and attack. Is that what it means? If that's the case, then wow, that would be the the key would be then to build him into a real tank with like plus ten armor. So he will be slower, but he will have ten strength high uh, damage or uh, high health high damage and at the same time although slower and if we have both opportune attack uh glancing strike no not uh opportune strike for bladed so everybody who comes within touch of him or within uh, melee range of him I have no idea. So that's something uh, worth trying out if we were... Oh, he doesn't have Tinkerer with him, huh? That will increase his uh, AP by one. I'm trying to remember. And this one is AP by one. Uh, three so he will be well still only three well this one is at seven use a seven right oh six okay yeah he just needs oh he i think he has dead eye already yeah he has dead eye 
So he will be at six. So he is still short. Wow, it's just too much brain work. <laughs> Makes me uh, a little bit. Uh... Okay, uh, Rafi is too heavy, right? So we need to give some stuff away. Yeah, he is too heavy. Uh, energy to pizza pie. Uh, this one to. Wow, we have so many coats. This is just ridiculous. Leather jacket. Leather jacket. And they only cost... Wow, we can sell them for... Look at this. Look at the number of coats we have. Uh, let's give them to... Uh, Tuck. Okay, uh, okay, I guess our timer went off, so let me cut the episode right here, and then I will start exploring with Scout to see if there are any boxes here, and if we find any, we'll open it, and then in the next episode, I will just indicate where those boxes are, and uh, if I remember, uh, I will also say, uh, I'll also point out what they contain. Anyway, okay. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye.